Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Christina and I am a mom of five kids ages 18 months, ranging up to 13 years. Don't mind the noise in the background. My kids are home. It is a real day in my life over here, but I wanted to share this unboxing of the brand new Simply Good and Beautiful Math Level 5. This was the math that I selected for my upcoming fifth grader. I shared in previous curriculum choices videos why I thought that this would be the best fit or had the potential to be the best fit. And just to sum it up, my fifth grader doesn't do well with just a textbook, but also doesn't love fully online. And so this program kind of blends the two because it has video lessons, but a physical textbook. So. I am going to unbox it right here with you guys. I will give you a flip through and show you all the different things that come with the program when you purchase. So let's take a look. Okay, so we have the mental math, which I'll show you guys in just a second. We have the answer key. We have the actual course book, and that is it. Okay, so we'll start with the course book. The course book, once you open it up, as you can see, it is just broken up by lesson in the table of contents. It tells you exactly what you will be, what concept you'll be studying that day. It tells you the supplies that are needed, the course overview. It tells you about, it gives you a lesson overview. So it tells you about the video lesson, the mini lesson, the practice and the review. So that's how each day sort of flows those four parts. So there's a video lesson, which is a detailed teaching and interactive guided practice of the lesson topic. A mini lesson, which is a concise written lesson on the topic practice, and then daily review of topics from the previous lessons. So this walks you through how to get started. It basically tells you that they can watch the video or they could just read the mini lesson if they feel confident in the lesson topic. So obviously um, there's going to be information in the videos that are not in the mini lesson that's written in the book. So if it's a new concept, I would think you'd wanna watch the video. Then there is a frequently asked questions section. And then unit one overview. It gives you the new concepts that will be taught and then the concepts that will be reviewed and expanded upon. And it also lets you know what extra supplies you will need for this unit. Goes through number patterns factors of prime and composite numbers. I just love the colors. I love how engaging this is. It does not look like your typical math book. So I know for my fifth grader, who's an artist and is definitely um, a visual person like I am, I think he'll appreciate that. So this is the visibility strategies, prime factorization, Factorization Forest. Now there is a sample of this available um, on, on the Good and the Beautiful. And then also you can get this as a free PDF and access the video. So this math is available for free, just not in hard copy. So multiplying and dividing by powers of 10. So I just wanna show you a bit more, but you kind of get the gist here you can scan the QR code or just look up the video lesson on the website. And then this is the section that will be used during the video lesson. Then this is your mini lesson that they were talking about. Here's your practice. Also, you'll notice that it prompts you to complete the Math 5 Mental Math Map Mysteries activity. So that's what that mental math book is for and I'll show you that in just a second. So even what's in that book, you'll know exactly what you need to do from it. And at the top of each lesson, it lets you know what supplies you might need for it. So just skipping 
through sort of quickly just to kind of give a little bit more of an idea, but obviously we're not gonna flip through this entire thing. So the whole entire book is in full color, which I absolutely love. As you get to the very back, just to see kind of where this um, level five ends up, here's a unit assessment. So it tells you exactly what you need to do for assessments. Less than 100, this is Planetary Puzzles. That looks really cool. So at the very end here, there is um, the course assessment. So you have the unit, unit assessments and then you have the actual course assessment. And then here you have the reference guide. So here's like your rules and things that they might need to check. And so you have some stickers here that are for lesson 37, lesson 58. So I kind of like that sticker aspect. Those are kind of nice looking too. And that is it for the course book. So here is the mental math book that is referenced in each lesson. And so this explains how this correlates with Simply Good and Beautiful Math 5. And it directs the child to do a lesson box in this mental math book for each lesson, except for the lessons that are assessments. And it says the parent or teacher should hold up the book so the child sees the questions page and the parent or teacher sees the answer key page. Or it can be laid flat with the parent or teacher covering the answers with a paper or sticky note. And so you can see the questions on this side and the answer key on this side. So it would be really easy to just hold it up across the table um, or next to each other on the couch or the floor, wherever you school, and just you see the answers and they see the questions. So it's kind of cool and it clearly shows you what lesson each of these boxes is for. So this is for them being able to do math in their head. So that's a pretty cool component. And you can tell these are just quick, easy, little sort of warm ups because this is the first thing that you're prompted to do for each day for each lesson. So this follows kind of that same pattern. Doesn't look much different as you go through. Um, there's even a book at the very end. It says wait to read this book until you have completed the course book. So that's kind of cool. And it's actually like a choose your own path book, which is super cool. That seems like a lot of fun. And I think that that is the last thing in here. And then oh, there are also stickers in here that go along with this. And that is it. And then the last thing you have is the answer key. And you can see what I like about it is it shows you the exact pages that are in the course book. So you don't have to like, you know, just be looking for like, num you know, the number question and the answer. It looks just like it will look for them, just much smaller. So this is super helpful. I like that it's a separate book and not in the back of the book. And you can see once again, it just follows that same structure throughout the entire course. So that is it. So again, you have your answer key, you have your course book, and you have your mental math, and then of course the video lessons. I hope you guys enjoyed that unboxing and getting to see a flip through of all the things that come in Simply Good and Beautiful Math Level 5. If you have any questions, drop them down below and if I can answer them, I definitely will. If you have tried the new Simply Good and Beautiful 
any of the levels. Let me know in the comments what you are thinking of it so far. Any tips, tricks, advice for ways to get started using it or just any insight, we can start a comment thread below, not only for me, but for any moms who are reading the comments that might be looking into purchasing this curriculum or they already have it, but just kind of want some advice and encouragement and maybe any insight that you might have if you've already started using it. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It does help my little channel here on YouTube and also lets me know what kind of content you guys are enjoying on my channel and what to keep bringing you in the future. If you are new here, definitely introduce yourself down in the comments below. I love to get to know you guys. If you are not already following us on Instagram, you can follow us there at rooted underscore homeschool. I've also linked my Instagram down below if you want to just be able to look it up that way. We show more day-to-day -day updates, real life look inside our lives and kind of how we implement things and how we do things around here as a family. So definitely come and follow us over there. If you are not subscribed, I would love if you stick around. I share not only homeschooling, but motherhood, big family life, home life, day in the life, curriculum hauls, book hauls, Amazon hauls, all of the things every once in a while, some cooking and some organization. So if any of that interests you, click that red subscribe button, hit the notifications bell so that you know when I have a new video coming out. Tomorrow I have a fun collaboration with my friend Christy from These Little Sprouts and we're going to be talking to you guys about how homeschooling has changed us as moms. So be sure to check back tomorrow for that video. I hope to see you soon in one of my next videos and until next time, stay rooted.